In this tutorial, we're going to talk about modifying your page layout. So by default, when you launch Corel and you select a new document, you're going to have an 8.5 by 11 page layout. And of course, uh, we can adjust our page layout any way we see fit uh, to really match our project. So if I'm going to design something for, say, a banner or for a sign or for a garment, I like to adjust my page size to really correspond with my printable area or my uh, whatever the net result may be. So once you launch a project, if you just go into, by default, you have an 8.5 by 11, we can always readjust and reorient this page. Now when I'm referring to page, on my workspace we have this sort of broad space here, but then we have an 8.5 by 11 page. Now, if I want to make adjustments to that uh, very easily, notice in the right-hand portion of the uh, page, we have this sort of gray shadow. Now, if I double-click that shadow, it's going to open up my page size and my uh, so I can reorient and, and sort of uh, reconfigure this. Now, under the inches drop-down, of course, we can configure this to millimeters. So if you're doing a sort of laser engraving and you wanna, you're doing precise, really small work, we can shift this to millimeters. If you're doing web design work and you need to work in pixels because you're designing a, a banner, you know, we could toggle to pixels, of course, yards and feet. So whatever is appropriate to your uh, particular project. So I'm going to switch this to feet, and maybe we're going to do a, a large project here. We're going to do si a six-foot by three-foot project. Uh, we'll go and enter three feet. Um, I'll go ahead and click OK, and you'll see how my page space now changes. Now you'll also notice how my rulers change. So rather than being in inches, which is default, it's now in feet. So this is a great way to go ahead and you know, create quick mockups and, and make sure that you're using space appropriately, you're sizing appropriately for output. Now, one of my other favorite things to do with page layouts is to save them for future projects. This is a, uh, was a new feature, I believe, that uh, was, rel uh, was new to Corel X4, and of course has been carried over to Corel X5. What I can do is I can go to the File drop-down menu, and from the File drop-down menu, we can go ahead and save this as a template. So notice where my mouse is hovering, it says Save as Template. So really, you should take, uh, take inventory of all the projects you're doing, uh, most commonly, and create a template for each of those projects. So I like to create a template for, say, an adult, um, or maybe an oversized print, maybe a youth print, a sign, banner, um, just all your common projects so we can go right to that environment, that design environment. So I'll click Save as Template, and of course uh, we have a choice where we're going to save it. I'll save it to the desktop and we'll name this Sign Blank. And uh, we'll go ahead and click Save. And now notice this template properties that appears. This is where you can command all the details and really give it a, a, a lot of characteristics. So we'll name this uh, 6 by 3 and we'll put in feet. And I'm not going to be concerned with siding and folds. Uh, it's more relative to like an offset print type project. We can give this a type. This is a really exciting thing. We can really uh, manage all of our templates by industry and by type. So if you don't see your type in here, we can go to other and I can type in signage, and we can go uh, to industry as well, and we can click other, and we'll say um, wide format or UV or whatever it may be. So we'll just do uh, UV. You can command this any way you'd like, of course. Now under designer notes, we could put notes. We could tag this particular template to a client, to a very specific project, to a specific product. Uh, maybe it's a panel for a wrap, whatever it may be. I can go ahead and click OK and now that template is saved. Now the really cool thing is when you launch Corel, if you have the welcome screen uh, active, so go to the welcome screen now, and notice where I just reactivated the welcome screen. Right under the text drop down you have a little button here, and if you have your mouse over that, that will say welcome screen. So you can always go right back to your welcome screen, and we can, uh, under the start new, we can either start with a new blank document, or we can start a, uh, a project from a template. So this is how you'll go in and browse all of your templates. And once I select that, notice how we can filter by type. So I can go to industry or type. Um, so I could toggle however would be appropriate. I should also point out that uh, Corel Draw by default actually comes with some fairly useful uh, templates. So there's stuff for letterhead, menus, uh, promotional type, uh, you know, flyers, brochures. So make sure to take advantage of those. Um, and we can click on my templates and we can, so once again, here's your template for your particular project, a uh, six by three foot sign blank. So we would see designer notes, we'd see all the details here, and I can go ahead and say open, and that uh, template will now be opened in my workspace.